We are getting to the finish line of the high school football regular season. If you can believe this is week 10, so only this week and next week to go. And playoffs are coming up quickly. And we're going to look at these in a playoff lens right now. If the super season ended today, all these teams would be in the postseason, but they're still jockeying for playoff position. Creekside last week, great win over Fleming Island, 49-48. They won on a missed field goal at the finish. They are in the playoffs at this point as a number eight seed. So they have got to win this week and then possibly win in week 11. They got Atlantic Coast this week on Thursday night. So a big one for the night. Trinity Christian and Bowles were off last week. So they're staying at nine and eight. Those, those teams have big, big games this week. Trinity Christian playing Providence for the District 1-1M Championship and Bowles hosting Bishop Kenny. Remember, they lost to Bishop Kenny last year for the first time since 1977. That game will decide the district 2-2M championship. So big one for both those teams. Riverside led 9-7 at half. They win 37-7 over Sandalwood last week. Remember, they are already in the playoffs thanks to a district championship earlier this season. They are off this week. General's looking good with a three seed right now in the region. Bartram Trail, the big drop of the week. Bartram Joe went to Gainesville Beholtz last week. They got beat 44 to seven, their worst loss since 2009. They lost the district championship in the process. They are still in the playoffs right now as a number four seed. They are playing Oakleaf this week, trying to get back on that winning track. Their four losses this year, all to unbeaten teams. So great schedule for the Bears. Range Vikings, they move up a spot. They beat Atlantic Coast last week, 29-22. They played Jackson on Thursday night for a district championship. Range already comfortably in the postseason. Mandarin, they are up a spot. They were off last week. They have Sandalwood this week on Thursday night for the district 1-4-M championship. They are up a spot. They are already in the postseason as well. Ponte Vedra, good season continues for the Sharks last week. 35 over Orange Park. They've got Nice this week. Great rivalry game. That one will decide a district championship there. Number two, Bradford. They have been staying put at number two pretty much the whole season. 42-0 over Lacando last week. They've got Palatka this week on Friday night for the district 4-3S championship. Bradford already comfortably in the playoffs as well. Number one, of course, St. Augustine. No change. They go to Gainesville last week and absolutely hammer the Purple Hurricanes 56-0. Friday night, they have Clay. They can win the district 4-3S championship outright. Great season for the Yellow Jacks. They are seeded number one in Region 1-3S. Now is a good time to remind you that we've got an excellent game of the week matchup. Nice visits rival Ponte Vedra in a heavyweight matchup for the District 3-4S championship. The Sharks are 12-2 all-time in the series, but they've split the last two seasons. You can catch the stream at newsforjacks.com or in the News for Jacks Plus app. 